Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we have a Ice Home reading vlog. Another Ruby Dixon release has come out. This book came out early, it's supposed to come out on the 31st of August, but it came out yesterday the 28th. I believe it was the 28th or was it the 27th? I don't know, but it came out a couple days ago. Anyway, if you don't know, Ruby Dixon is like my favorite author of all time. So I'm going to be vlogging every new release of hers. I'm almost done with her backlist. So I'm gonna be making a deep dive video for her backlist books later on in the year. And if you wanna know, my thoughts and deep dive information about the Ice Planet Barbarian and Ice Home series and what order to read them in, be sure to check out my Ice Planet Barbarian guide video that's going to be linked down below. This video will have spoilers for the Ice Home series as well as the book itself. I'm going to be talking about spoilers in here. So if you have not read this book yet, please come back or if you don't care about spoilers, go ahead and watch. Um, but I'm going to be talking in depth and I feel like this book specifically, if you have not read Daisy's Decision yet, don't don't watch this video either <laughs> or read the book yet. You gotta go read Daisy's book before you get to Floor's book, okay? I really like Floor in the series um, and so I've been excited about her book, but I kind of assumed this is who she was gonna get with, Irek, Irek. I, is it Irek or Irek? Uh, I'm gonna say Irek. I never know how to pronounce freaking Ruby Dixon alien names. <laughs> I kind of assumed that's the route that Ruby was gonna go because of the foreshadowing things happening in Daisy's decision because like the whole book she was like Irek is definitely gonna end up with Tia like they kept saying that over and over and over and over and over again in Daisy's decision and I'm like it's obviously not gonna happen if she keeps saying that like that's just what's gonna happen so um I wasn't shocked when these two became mates at the end of the last book but I'm excited to see how this goes because I feel like this is gonna be a friends to lovers romance a little bit awkward in the beginning possibly and I am a sucker for those books I am a sucker for the little awkward friendship to more so let's read this summary because I haven't read it yet and um then later in the week I'm going to be reading this book okay so the summaries in first person in Floor's point of view it says I'm not supposed to resonate to him it's been a few years since I've landed here on Ice Home Beach, and as resonance after resonance dwindled the list of bachelors, I knew who I'd end up with. As soon as we got past our differences, I'd end up as Argyle's mate. On an everyday excursion, however, my cooey decides otherwise. It sings all right, but not for Argyle. Instead, I resonate to Irek, the forceful, brash, overly alpha leader of Shadowcat. Did I mention he's got a long distance girlfriend already? This is gonna get messy, y'all. This is gonna get messy. I don't like Tia, so I'm like, what's gonna happen with Tia? Cause I don't really like Tia. Anyway, it's a big mess and it's about to get messier. But as things get chaotic on the beach and our way of life is threatened with an upheaval, it's the small things that end up mattering. Small things like the way Irek kisses or the way we seem to have a lot more in common than we thought or the way Irek can be gentle but only with me. I don't really know what that means. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I really hope it's not a freaking book where he's holding off because of his feelings for Tia because like these alien men, um, as soon as they get mated or figure out that they're mated to some woman, they become like puppy dogs. They're like, you are mine, I am yours. I will follow you and love you for forever. And if he still has feelings for Tia, I'm gonna be like grossed out because I don't want that. <laughs> I do not want that. Um, I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy love triangles or men harboring feelings for another woman. I don't wanna read about it, I don't. So hopefully I love this one, okay? I'm gonna be reading it throughout the week. I will update you as as I read it. I finished chapter one. This is interesting. So Floor is probably one of our oldest heroines in this series. I think she's over 35, which a lot of these characters are in their young 20s. So she's kind of deemed herself aunt of the camp and has kind of like fallen into the belief that she just won't resonate. We also get some insight as to what happened with Arjal and um, why they're not very friendly anymore because you've read about them in like the previous books and how they don't really get along anymore. Turns out like their first year there, she and him were like flirting and she went to his, his tent one night, his hut one night and kind of like threw herself at him and like, he just said no. He said no. He's like, I'm waiting for resonance. No. So she was kind of like butthurt and humiliated about it. Um, which I don't 
like I get being humiliated but holding a grudge for this long is kind of like weird to me because the guy just is waiting for a soulmate. Why why do you have to be mad about that? Like I don't get why she was so angry. She probably just was butthurt about it, but whatever. So Irek and Floor are kind of like friends now. They're just friends. Floor's trying to make make like a craft for the camp. Arjal kind of like tags along with her even though she does not really want him there. And Arjal's trying to like convince her to mend their friendship and their relationship and she's like no dude i feel like nothing towards you now like you kind of like humiliated me and i have like zero attraction to you right now um and he's like well come on if you ask me again to basically like hook up again my answer will be different this time and she's like um no because what if someone else turns out to be your resonance main you would boot me to the curb immediately and i don't want to be second best to anybody he's like okay well i'll kiss you then to like show you or something and then Irek is like here. Oh, you hear is Irek's voice and he goes, I will break both your hands, Tallhorn, if you touch her. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm waiting for the residents to happen because you've read in Daisy's decision like when they come back, when Daisy and, is it Ojek? I think it's Ojek. When Daisy and Ojek come back from their little escapade on the raft, um, these two are already resonated to each other. So it's gonna happen soon and I'm excited. I love a good friends to lovers. So like, I'm hoping that I love this one too. I'm about to start chapter four. <laughs> I'm like nervous about what's going to happen because they did it for the first time. You get my drift, they started resonating. I love how we have a resonance at the beginning book again. I love those books where the resonance is at the beginning of the book instead of throughout, if that makes sense. Like, I like both, but like, like I like how Ruby Dixon changes it up, you know? Because I think the last one, Daisy and Ojek, took freaking forever. And so this one happens right at the beginning. I needed that, I needed that. But they start getting it on and Floor is like, oh, well, we have to figure out what we're gonna do when we get back to camp because like, you obviously want to still be with Tia. So I'm like, girl, how do you think this is gonna work out? <laughs> how do you think this is gonna, how can he still be with Tia, girl? Like, hello? Is it Irek or Erek? I feel like Erek sounds weird. So Irek, okay, if Irek is like, still wanting to be with Tia after this, I'm about to throw hands. Cause like, that's your soulmate, dude. Like, no. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> Sometimes you have to find <laughs> the little areas in the apartment for your voice not to travel and for other noises not to hear you because you have roommates. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk in the closet. <laughs> so I'm, I believe on page 90, so about 40% of the way through this book. And things kind of just went down. I wish these two, so one, th one thing that is not my favorite with some of these like ice home books is the miscommunication or the fact that these two characters cannot sit down and have a conversation with each other it just grinds my gears <laughs> floor thinks that irek is going to want to be with tia no matter what i don't know how that got in her head and how that he loves her or whatever but she, that's what she automatically thinks and irek thinks that floor does not want him because she keeps saying oh you're gonna be with tia and he's like oh i guess she doesn't want to be with me then so there's like these these two just need to sit down and then the scene just happened where tia comes with ashtar um and immediately freaking kisses him <laughs> and he spills like breakfast all over himself and her and um, he literally spits, <laughs> like he's like disgusted that she, which is a little much, dude. <laughs> I just have realized like Irek is a too much kind of dude, honestly. And then Floor obviously, is, obviously sees the whole thing and just tells him like, you need to go sit down with Tia and like figure this all out um, and figure out what you're gonna do and how you're gonna be with her. And he's like, I'm gonna be with her. What does that mean? Like I made it to Floor, like what is she talking about? But they're not talking to each other about this, which is very frustrating. I, I love Ashtar, he's so funny. Um, someone was like, you didn't tell Tia before you went and picked her up? He's like, no. <laughs> it's not my job to tell somebody that. Um, and he's like, I was in my dragon form. 
she can't talk telepathically. How could I have tell? <laughs> like, he's funny. I believe Irak and T are about to have like a one-on-one -on -one therapy sesh with Steph. So we'll see what happens. T is like mad at him. Why, why would you be mad at him? He has no control over what is going on. I don't like Tia, so I like want to read her book mainly because of our job because I love him, but I don't like Tia. Like, I don't, I don't get why Ruby's writing these girls that no one likes. <laughs> I don't know. People, like, she said like, oh, Daisy gets her redemption and Daisy's decision. And I'm like, no, I still don't like her. We have found a new location. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, he's like hopping everywhere um but i'm like 62 percent of the way through this book um and i thought i'd give a little update because things are happening um that whole therapy sesh with tia the whole time i just wanted tia to leave like i'm like i don't care about you <laughs> i don't care about your melodramatics i don't know like how i'm gonna be able to read her book and like stand reading about her anyway i'm gonna be in that one for our jaw i'm gonna be in that one for him we have irac kind of like telling floor finally told her like I don't want Tia anymore and she's a little confused and doesn't really believe him because she's like how could your feelings about this woman change after two days of just resonating to me like I don't understand like two days ago you were wanting this woman and were basically in love with her and two days later that has completely changed she's just like that can't really happen like you were in love with her two days ago just because you resonated you're not anymore and he's like yeah that's what resonance is <laughs> and he like he hasn't told her this yet but he's starting to realize like Tia's not that great <laughs> which good for him for realizing that he is also seven years younger than Flora and he's realized like I don't want a little girl not little girl she's not freaking underage or anything but like she acts like a spoiled young girl Tia does he's like I don't want this spoiled brat of a girl I want this confident mature woman who is Floor. So I'm loving reading about Iraq and his perspective about all of this. And so right now they are traveling to the Ancestor Cave, um, which is like the old spaceship um, with Daisy and Ojek because there is like a mystery going on. I don't know what's gonna happen. I have a feeling maybe there's new people on the planet possibly um, because when Ashtar went to the fruit cave, they said like, oh, all the fruit was gone. Like, it wasn't like trampled or anything. No Metlax came in. If you've read the series, you know what Metlax are. Um, but there was no Metlax. There was like nothing in there. Just all the fruit, every single fruit was like gone. It's like someone took it. And the other ice planet camp didn't take it. So who took all this fruit? And so they're going to the Ancestor Cave to see if like anything will show up or if there's any answers there. And then on their way there, like, they are hiding from this group of Metlax traveling away from the fruit cave and the ancestor cave, like they're traveling away. And one of the guys said like, that is the largest group of Metlax I've ever seen ever because they normally don't travel in large packs like that. So they're obviously like meeting up and going away from something. And so there must be a new entity, a new being, a new person all on this planet that is taking all their food and also possibly doing something else we'll see so i don't know what we're gonna see here um but i'm liking how floor and irek are like slowly becoming more comfortable with each other in a romantic sense you know um now that resonance is finally fulfilled between the two of them like their cooies have stopped like hungering for each other i feel like they're kind of like taking the time to now like get to know each other in a romantic way other than a bow chicka bow wow kind of way you know because that's all they've been able to do for the past three days <laughs> So I'm liking that they're like being playful with each other and it's really cute so um I'm excited I'm excited to read more and I'm a little a little worried about this new possible conflict or new person that might show up okay I know the lighting's not great but I'm only gonna be on for a second I look ridiculous I know I've been reading in bed but there are new people there are like 18 new people Ruby I thought you were done girl I thought we were doing next gen next. Is that not happening now? I want next gen. So that's what I was prepared for. So I'm very shocked that we have like 18 new freaking people. I feel like Ruby's just gonna write a million of these books and just have people like keep crashing. It's also really like interesting too because um, there's no more like Sakui single people. So all of these new people are kind of like gonna just be paired up with each other or with the kids when they grow up that sounds weird 
but I don't I don't know I don't know I really wasn't expecting there to be a new group of people are they gonna build a whole new like camp are they gonna jo join ice home is this gonna be the start of a new spinoff series I have so many questions <laughs> okay I finished it <laughs> I was not expecting that. This book is like led me on a roller coaster, I feel like. Especially the ending. I was not expecting it. I'm so freaking happy that Argel is not with Mother and Tia. <laughs> I don't like her. I don't like her. Like whoever's paired up with her. Sorry, dude. <laughs> we also have this new series. A whole new freaking series. I thought Argel and Tia's book would be the last book, but no, this is the last freaking book of the Ice Home series. Like, Ruby's like here switching things up. Well, the next series is the Ice Planet Clone series, and Argel's book is going to be it's going to be first. Um, I think this series, the guys' names are going to be in the title instead of the girls. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Um, I like the addition of the clones in there. I think in the summary, I kind of like spoiled, not summary, sorry, author's note, I kind of spoiled myself for part of the Corsair Brothers series because I've only read book one in that series and she kind of mentioned how, oh, these were some clones that were in said series and I kind of like I guess spoiled myself and I guess just no spoiled you but yeah somehow they were a part of that series so I gotta go read that up now. I really like the ending between Irek and um Floor sorry <laughs> my brain isn't working correctly um I loved the ending of their relationship and everything and how she finally freaking realized like this man is in love with her and I love how much they have in common and how Ruby's like author's note like really showed like there was no spark with Flora and Arjal. Irek and her just like sparks immediately, immediately. So um, I love always reading Ruby Dixon's author's notes. If you don't read her author's notes, like you're missing so much information. So please start doing that. I thought the ending was quite surprising and um, I liked the romance overall. It's not my favorite. I'm gonna probably give it a four star. I enjoyed my time and I'm looking forward to the other books that will come up hopefully soon. I have to go look up this book now, Arjal's book, to figure out when it's coming out. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be Ruby's next release, um, because she's done with the Corsair Brothers series now. I don't know if she's done with the Corsair series itself, um, because those are just a bunch of little novellas. I feel like she could write in that series for forever, um, but the author's name was also so funny. She was like, now you're probably wondering why I'm adding more books to this mother effing series. <laughs> Are it, is it already 40 freaking books long? Because both series are basically the same. Like, they're the same series. And so I think Ice Planet Clones is like, I don't want it to be the last because then I'm like wondering again, like, if it's the last series on this world, like, what about second gen? Like, I want second gen so freaking badly. So I know other people do too. So anyway, I'm going off on a tangent now. <laughs> I could talk about Ruby and her books and her universe for days, so... I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Sorry for all the jump around clips and random spots. I'm trying to get my filming routine kind of like put together in my new new space. Let me know down below what you thought about this book. I would love to know and what you think about Ruby's new series coming up. Um, yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.